Okay. Let me know if the anyone who's here, if the sound balance is super off. I'm trying to play a little closer to the mic so I don't have to talk as loud. So we'll see how that goes. Playing for the uh, second time today because I'm just really into this game. left our hero he was uh walking through green path and i have to get all the way back up there because there was like some other bug who was being hurt by a giant bad bug that i was really ineffectual at stopping We'll see if we can't heal back up, get a bunch of power, take him down. And of course, kill my ghost and get back all my geo. Get the that dollar bills. Those bug bug bits. Bug dollars, bug. That bug money. Make that bug paper. Uh, let me see. Like a little quiet. I'll try putting this up a little bit here. Does that make it better? It's unclear. Okay. No. try to keep talking about like I mean I guess I call it design things but like experiential things uh, I look back over some of my old footage and uh, it's it's interesting how difficult it is to play well and uh, provide useful commentary it's actually a Pretty difficult thing. Can I go up this way? Is this okay? This is a dead end. That's good. All right. So the law, the rule of un, or the law of un, or whatever, was the <sighs> this fucking guy. out if I can like hit his head. That's the That's the real trick to that guy. He's like getting in under his head. There's another another upward facing thing there. Also my apologies to anyone listening to this through YouTube if a lot of this commentary is really quiet. Um, I just, I have a tendency without, if I don't have my headphones set to feed my voice back in, sometimes I end up yelling. And so I'm trying to avoid that. All right, back here in the greenest of green paths, making our way back to what I suspect is a connection to the King's Road. Ooh, journal update. Okay. 
Nothing, nothing especially interesting about the Tick Tick. Moss Knight. Eat more of these for the Hunter's Notes. All right. Making our way back to that bug in trouble. Yeah, so right now I'm trying to decide, do I want to use this to heal up, or do I want to save it to try and fireball down this thing, since I know those fireballs are like, warrior shits. Can we farm? <laughs> Admirable. Okay, so where does this go? This goes down there, and I'm actually... I'm not sure what the rules are of this game, whether everywhere that I drop down to is a place that you can get back up. So just, just in case, I'm going to... all of my soul do nothing. That seems like probably the ideal. Alright, let's heal up. Yeah. Can't shoot fireballs if you're dead. That's the... That's my old grandpappy used to tell me. This isn't, this is not going very good. Alright, we got a fireball in. I need to spend the next, like, few things healing, though. Or I'll just shoot a fireball. Uh, ineffectual. Embarrassing, embarrassing turn of events. Um, it seems like jumping in the air after him, or after his babies, makes him more likely to uh, go on the warpath. And so, like timing those precisely is actually kind of tricky. It's okay. I do like the. Uh, little detail of our soul goblet or whatever being shattered. That's cool. Come on, come here. I need your soul. Give me that soul. Was there a... Yeah. Does it realize what a nuisance is? Drift around, spilling its toxic juices everywhere it goes. If you see any, make sure to kill them. I like this guy's little director's commentary. <sighs> Making our way back to this mini boss. At least we have like a lot to. F it's nice because, like, sure, we're like doing farming or whatever, um, but. It's not just that we want to, we want to get 
soul back. Which is... Like, of course we want to get soul back, but also we want to have full health, which we use soul to get, and we uh, want to get the, the hunter's commentary. So we get a little bit of all of that just by uh, sort of grinding through these areas over and over again. So that's neat. That's neat. I feel like maybe if I were really good at this game, that I wouldn't get that hunter's commentary. That's what we call a silver lining. <laughs> oh god. Just trying to do like a mid-air turnaround and that's... That is not, in fact, a thing. Wow. I really cannot afford to be losing soul like this. This is, uh... Apparently a little quiet. Let me see what I can do here. <sighs> um, well, if I put this down and I turn if I increase there's the gain knob here so I'm going to increase increase the gain a little bit let's see if that does anything how am I sounding now if I just talk normally is it getting a little too fuzzy I'm worried about the gain Okay. Okay, it looks like it looks like the gain's not not causing it to be too fuzzy. So we'll leave the gain where we are and put the desktop audio back to what that is. Resync that. All right. Well, viewers, you might miss uh all of my incredible commentary. Um, from the previous part, which was mostly over my, wow, wow, um, my inability to, uh, defeat the same mini-boss whose patterns are predictable, both predictable and give me a bunch of free soul, um, and if anything, I'm getting worse at approaching the mini-boss. So that's something. But at least my soul vessel has been uh, healed, as it were. And uh, yeah, let's let's just spend that much to heal. All right, here we go. Coming in for a dive. Yep. All right. Full health, full health, eyes open. Okay, so it should be dropping babies. So I just need it to drop down a little bit lower.
heal up. All right. Yeah, so it looks like I have to bait it into dropping down. Yeah, it's going to stay kind of, like, mostly out of my reach, except when it screams, as far as height, vertical height goes. That was not what I intended. Man, my aim is just abysmal. Um... Ooh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Hey, buddy. You don't get a name, huh? Okay, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Zote the Mighty. You'll find out why they call my weapon Life and all right it's like you got anything more to say zote mm -hmm. i mean i feel like i saved you zote so maybe don't look a, a gift bug in the mouth if you know what i'm saying i'm sure we'll see him again he's got kind of a uh Not a, like a Sigurd or um, Solaire vibe to him, where he's like proud, but like kind of incompetent. Okay, so I'm starting to figure out those guys. Uh... All right, there's another guy here. I see ya. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Shoot a, shoot a fireball in the opposite direction. Yeah, these guys, these guys are getting easier, though. If there were, like, two of these guys, or, like, one of these guys and anyone else, if I weren't just dueling these guys, they'd be significantly harder. Yep, I'm in this big, big open room here. Oh, no! Thou art slain. Oh good. I was hoping that it was a uh, just to kill him to open the door thing. I can duel those guys pretty easily now. Um, the next time uh, I get an opportunity to go back to the dirt mouth area, I should pay Jamie Heineman a call because I think I have two of those right now who are I saved. Got back in Come on. I actually, I kind of like this enemy. It's like, it's fun. It's a fun enemy. Aha. Green children walk from the pet, from the dream unto these lands. Here we now shall wait patient for the call to return. Hmm. 
That's interesting. So this is something that Jonathan Blow talks about sometimes, where like the danger of having super clear menus is that everyone knows like a bunch of stuff about your game. Right, and so I know. Jeez. Well, at least getting back here is gonna be a lot easier. Um, I know there's something called a dream nail that I'm going to get an ability about eventually. I mean, I know my nail's my weapon, so I don't know what this dream nail is, but we're seeing references here to Wow, that's just indefensible. Um, we're seeing references here to things coming out of dream, or things lying in wait to be called upon in relation to dream. So that's scary. It's also interesting, that's like... I haven't been keeping track of which pieces of lore, because that's like... I'm going to call a lore stone, right? Uh, that that one was hidden. Now, it wasn't, like, super hidden. But, like, you could, if you were just the kind of person who was uh, only finding lore stones that were out in the open, like this lore stone, I think, right? There's a lore stone up here. Yeah, so, like, this lore stone. What does this talk about? Yeah. So that lore stone is like obvious and like almost everyone will see it. But the lore stone that I just looked at, talking about the dream and green people and stuff, it's like much less likely to happen. So. Oh man, did I really? I ran the entire zone without setting off the shortcut. Once again, I uh, I went the path that I thought was the opposite of the way I should go. And it turns out that there was like a one-sided door. Is there like some sort of like parry system going on there? I feel like our swords clanked. Keep it in mind. Well, if this area up here did connect to Green Path, or did connect up to the Forgotten Crossroads or to the King's Road, I haven't been able to find it, but I think there's actually. Is there just an exit over to the right? Yeah, okay. So there's an exit over to the right that I haven't gone to. So, Order of the Day is go collect my body and then come all the way back here. Sorry, go collect my body, set off the shortcut, then come back here. That's the plan. And at some point in the future, Go, uh, go talk to Jamie Heineman about that money he owes me. Okay, is there a bunch of fencers around here that I don't particularly want to fight? I'll fight you, though. And that one's gone? So... So I'm actually not sure where the shortcut is here. The down... Is this shortcut? Yep. Great. This is very, very close to setting off the shortcut. One more hit from this guy.
Okay, so that's like the boss area. Oh, did I find the... That's great. We found the... The beetle line. The... Something way. Stagway. Stagway. It's a stag beetle. Stagway, stagway, and a chair. Awesome. That's great. Yes, please. I'm not saying I'll spend any amount of geo, but we'll spend a heaping helping. Hey, buddy. The last stag. It's so sad. Okay, dirt mouth, then back to green path. Uh, to check out that sort of backwards path that went towards the King's Road. Um, and then eventually the, uh, the Green Path boss. So do you have anything more to sell? Ooh, hello, friend. Well, let's talk to the old man first. Yeah, I saw. Okay, he's just talking about the same place. You got anything, Bampanada? Her name starts with an I. Bampanada. Iselda. Iselda. Yeah, you're great. Interesting. So this guy doesn't believe in dreams. Or says he doesn't. I wonder, like... Because you could, you could go, like, very weird, right? This the whole idea of dream, like it could be something as simple as like there's a dark world that's like um, but like I don't know. I don't. I I honestly have n have no idea what to expect from like dream stuff. See, you're all a little. That guy, that guy is, whoa, what is that? What is that? I got a, f a quarter of something for, I assume it's like, there's like a threshold for finding enough of these. And there's like, I don't know, 30 of these, 40, 50. It's hard to tell how far back it goes. Um, but, uh, that, that maggot father is one beret away from a Jamie Heineman. That's all I'm saying. It's funny. I actually, I've been calling him Jamie Heineman for so long that I remembered him having a beret. So that's, uh, that's the pile of garbage that is human memory for you, ladies and gents. Up, up, ascend. All right, stagway, stagway. I like how there's some shells up there that look kind of like teeth. Green path. All right, so this is like, this is the loop. There's like, 
I wonder if there's a uh, a water a healing waters place at every play at every location because I assume there's a stagway station. Come get some. Because then that's also like part of the loop, right? It's like find, find the stagway so you can hook back up. Find the, find the small loop around shortcuts. The stagways are kind of the, the large scale shortcut. Huh. I actually don't. I guess that's fine. Like once again, you have to be standing still for that to, to get you. I'm just not sure how I feel about that one is like totally invisible. You know? Okay, so there's a shortcut down there. So let's go open that up. I love shortcuts. Ah. interesting it does like this like particle effect right before it attacks like a sucking in of air or blowing out of air shortcut opened a large amount of geo right now nothing really to spend it on I'm sure that'll change soon though. Like, okay, so the, the boss is there. That's not where I wanna go. I wanna go, I wanna go right into an enemy. That's what I wanna do, twice. Just, just plow my, my whole, just rub my whole face all over that enemy. Um, you know, my nail, the nail is, is like a reasonable weapon, but maybe I could also try just bashing my face against it. And this is the wrong way. I should look at my map. I want to go up. Up and to the right, to the right, to the right, ever to the right. Never to the left, ever to the right. I don't really want to fight those fencing guys. Have I, have I learned about the fencing guys yet? Like, I know that I found them initially, but. Okay, I need to. Defeat three more for the hunter's cliff nets. So maybe I'll, when I go to do the boss run after I check out this new area, if it is indeed a new area, um, if it doesn't lead me to like a huge detour and end up just coming immediately coming back to the boss run, then. Maybe I'll kill some of those hunters as practice. I assume that in the same way that there was like that big large guy outside of the, the false knight first boss that that perhaps those fencers are uh, heralding things to come in the boss fight. I don't know. All right, where are we, where are we popping out here? Okay, this feels, this, this feels like King's Road. Or not? Well, I guess I didn't have a map for the King's Road. Can I get up there? Yes. Can I get further? No. Can't get further up there. Well, this is, geez, this is precarious. Uh, Alright, so this, I'm almost certain this connects back up to the King's Road now, but like I might not have, like this might be, well, 
but this might be one of those things where you come back to the very first place with like a thousand abilities and you're so strong and like it might not be the ending area but it might be uh a more like game area and unfortunately like it was so long ago that i was on the king's road at the beginning of the game on my other computer that like i have no no memory of like exactly what it looked like so if i if i've if i'm already like seeing pieces that i already saw before like I got nothing certainly getting hit over and over again by stalactites and refusing to dodge them is reminiscent of the king's road No music is reminiscent of the King's Road. Oh boy. Okay. So this this might be like a an air dash only. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's where that stops. It's an air dash point. Well, you know what that means. Time for a boss. Time for a boss. Yeah. Time for the green path boss. Time for the green path boss. Brent Hurst, voice major. Oh, uh, so let's just reset all the enemies after I attack them. kill you don't have any more hunter doesn't have anything to say about you i don't need any more soul okay eh, i'm not gonna fight this guy so there's there's a green dude yep i remembered here we go. This is like a hundred percent a boss, right? It's the last, the last place for me to go. It's got the symbol. It's like three pillars. Hmm. I mean, maybe it's just like an ability, and there's no boss in the green. Oh. Uh, Hi, Meta Knight Lady. You're cute. Oh. That is a murdered bug knight. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not I was not stalking you. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, you cool. Okay, boomerang attack. All right, there's a little bit of a... Whoa. Damn it. I predicted that, too. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to give useful commentary. This is a... Uh, certainly a more fast-paced boss fight than the last one, though. Uh, still, like, the bosses telegraph pretty, like, a decent amount. Take fireball. Alright. Oh well, that, that's okay. Don't don't jump into the midair and oh, man has hang time. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. That short hop was not. So she's had two instances where she's like put her head down and it's not clear to me whether that's like entering a new phase or, oh boy, or like I'm supposed to f do a finishing move there or what? Ow. Yeah, you keep doing that close quarters thing. I'm. I don't want to stay near you. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Uh, oh boy. This is heal up. Uh, She is awesome though, like I want to be her friend. Come back. All right, I'll take this thing off of course. Mothling cloak. Oh boy. We have the dash. We have the dash. This is... Whoa, 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 what's going on? Uh, no? No. Well, that's fine then. That's interesting. Um, okay, so Lady Meta Knight's awesome. And there's like these three dudes who are talking about me undoing seals and how it can't be undone and must be undone, which is about what I expected. And now, ah, tutorial zone. Um, and now I'm going to do the, the boring work of going back to like the thousand places that I can now do things at because I have a dash. So many, so many places I can go now. I know. Okay, I'm still like in this. This feels safe. Doesn't mean it is safe. Is this another zone? Yet another zone? Lake of Un. Huh. Alright. Sure. Okay, this looks like it is like a dead end. What do you, what's up, buddy? Quirrell. Hey, look, he has his mask on the back of his 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 head. It's like a, it's like a face on the back of whatever you know. <sighs> yeah, it's nice. Is that it? We're just chilling? Ooh, upgrades? 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 
Hmm. It sounded like he sounded like the kind of guy who would give us an upgrade, but maybe he's just the guy I talked to. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, I did just rest here, so I can. Uh, one second. Bye. Uh, just going to pause for a second here. Uh, one second. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. The cat sounded like he was getting into something, so I wanted to find him and make sure he wasn't. And he wasn't. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this guy's advice to like find a way to upgrade my nail before I fight that dude. Especially because, I mean, I guess maybe like a boat will appear or something, but 
I think for now it's fine. Just learning how to use my dash. I like that I have like like this is just a very short cooldown. There's no like it it doesn't use the same uh, energy pool as my other abilities. It's handy. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, you're very clever. Shortcuts, shortcuts. Nice. And where is this hooking back up to? Oh, is this the boss area? Yeah. Okay. So let's make our way back up. And maybe duel a grasshopper along the way. for fun. It's interesting. I can like almost always dodge the second hit on reaction. So that's nice. Um, I would not have thought that I had the necessary reflexes for that, but it's like just slow enough for my old arthritic hands. <laughs> All right. Well, they're like, so there's this place over here that definitely needs the dash. And there was like, I feel like there, there was a place near the brambles that needed the dash. So we'll try that too. I'm especially interested in going back to some of these old places because, uh, I mean, I have no idea how big this game is, but like, it can't be, it, there can't be like 30 zones, right? I guess not. I guess it could. It just seems like it would be hard to, to parcel out to like, they're like, you know, three, four abilities that I don't know about yet, other than like, I guess, different kinds of spells or whatever. Um, but it would be hard to parcel out the mystery given, I feel like, like a pretty reasonable pace that I'm learning about the mystery of like what happened to Hollow Nest um, over 30 zones. And so given that, and given Ooh, a hornet. Defeat one more. Oh. Hornet. Hornet amethyst. All right, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on finding other people to put into the Steven Universe thing here. So see how see how there are all these things here? So my thought is, is that, like, a lot of these have to be in these, like, hidden go-back-to-them areas because there just isn't enough, like, plot room. For them. That's the that's my impression. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow wow wow. Okay. 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 Oh. Mugga. Well, well, I mean, on the one hand, that's going to be a nightmare, especially now that I have my own body to get. On the other hand, I have like 1400 geo on me and uh, I have to get something good from that, right? Like. Am I so bad? Oh wait, I can't. <laughs> can't go this way. Can't get there from here. Uh, 
dash him away back to the nightmare. Yeah, so I need to be tracking two sets of projectiles and then two ads, two possibilities of ads, basically. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad how much trouble this dash is getting me into here. That's... No. Not allowed. No projectile night. No. <sighs> Once again, at least I get to go through this area, which has a bunch of these little, little enemies that don't give me really any geo, but help me replenish my soul. I liked my strategy against those like green leafy guys of like I can punish and then dash to follow. Like I think that's it's a good idea. Um, but like I actually need to do it and not dash to dashing right into them. That's not the correct strategy. So can I, what happens if I dash and attack? Okay, you can't. I think you can attack immediately at the end of that animation, but like during it, you can't. So that's, that's good info. Oh, that's nice. He said, dyingly. I'm glad that my soul wasn't down there. It has sort of the Dark Souls thing of like, it places it back a little ways if you, uh, so that it's not an unreachable place. I mean, that, this place isn't unreachable. I'm, I'm going back in, but probably gonna die anyway. Okay, so here's the plan. So we kill one. That's the strategy, is they hide if you... Come on, give me another baby. Okay, so like one more baby should do it. Yeah, that fight is absolutely meant to just like panic you. Oh, these are all curled up armored dudes. Balder shell. What are you? I'm gonna guess something to do with like curling up. Protect this pair with a hard shell while focusing soul. The shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. Okay. Yeah, so that's right. It's like some thematic thing where uh, I get I'm like slightly more protected while healing. So that's cool. Almost as cool as that. So good literally the best at this game. Okay, so I, 
I don't have a map for this area, but I, I'm pretty sure I've like cleaned out the part that I can get to. Like I'm gonna check back up here because I have dash now, but like I'm pretty sure. How did I? Okay. No more messing around. I have 1600 geo on me here. We're gonna we'll come back there at some later date after I kill this. It doesn't seem like there's I pressed the dash button by accident. That could have killed me. So I think at this point we can all agree that the proper number of times to be hit by that particular stalactite is all the times, literally every time. And there's just, oh, okay, there was a money thing up there, okay. Yeah, so I think I've mined this whole thing. Okay. So where in Green Path? I think that middle area I can get to. So let's let's do that next. Did I get a Shard of an ancient mass, warn to protect oneself from harm. Click three more to strengthen your shell and protect yourself from damage. Oh, maybe if you collect four of these, you get a new life token thing. Baby Balder. You're still looking to catch these creatures running around for support. I encourage you to indulge yourself. As they age, yeah, okay, I got that one already. But the new one was new. Okay, so I want to go down, just all the way down, and then over and up. Okay, this isn't too bad. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, so I just need to go duel that one guy, get my 1700 Geo, and then come back. Or sorry, and then drop down to that bench at the bottom of the shaft. Okay, I'm gonna go straight across. Come on, ghosty. Bye. Change my mind.
Okay. Just survive. Just just get to the bottom. Nope, that's not what you're gonna do. Okay. <sighs> Time for a new area with a new ability that I'll be very good at utilizing in an effective manner when I'm surrounded by spikes. This is the spike area. Nah. Okay, so that's, yeah, I went up to do that, and then this way is the spike area that I was, like, pretty sure you need the dash for. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hard area. <laughs> well, you have got to be kidding me. Shortcut. Thorns of agony. Since the pain of his baron lashes out, when taking damage, sprout vines to damage nearby foes. Alright. And it's only a one slaughter? That's nice. How much is how much is this one? Two? Okay. I feel like I should find a way to like get more of those. Alright, we did it. We cleared out that. And we were like one dumb mistake away from me just giving up on the area entirely. So, go us. Um, Stone Sanctuary is pitch black. That side area we might be able to get to, like the bottom, bottom right, like the leftmost way there. What is the. Let me look at the map. Yeah, there's this like whole area in here between King's Pass. And uh, I don't know what to think of it. Oh boy. Okay, we're up here, and we're dead. Uh, so right now, what upgrades do we have? We have the compass that says where I am, and soul catcher, which gives me more soul. So the problem is, is that like this seems like up my alley because I'm very bad. But then I'm just like letting a slot life follow. I don't like that. And I feel like I heal in safe places. So I need to either like get another notch or two more notches or like a different ability before this, especially because I'm not good enough at pathfinding to take off my, my where am I slot. Alright. 
are you there? Wrong button. Okay, I'll just play for like half an hour longer at most. Get ready for bed. Where am I heading next? I want to go down and then eventually to the left. All right, these. All right, new dash path. This is definitely more green path, so. Oh, this looks like a boss. Okay. Ah, I figured it out. I figured it out. I have to get here with a dash, so I need to use a dash. Or just jump over it. Okay, this is fine. I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then get hit. That's not. No. Ugh, I'm like way back here. Uh, why didn't I stay at that other bench? Why am I so dumb? All right, make my way back. Go stay at that other bench. Then go fight the boss. On the way, fight enough guys to fill up my soul stand on top of this enemy so that I will just lose soul on net wow this is just very impressive my ability to lose all of my soul play for too much longer is like I am definitely losing my concentration considering how many times I'm allowing myself to get hit secret bench secret bench already on my map not very secret Can I lure my... So 
So what happens if I just stay up here? What happens if I just ignore that boss? I can just ignore him? Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. He was like, ah, oh, these are just the uh, living plants. No, no, they're bugs, and I kill bugs. My identity is defined by what I kill. Stay up here. I am not using my dash correctly. There we go. Sort of. <sighs> Sorry for the lack of commentary. At least I'm back here, so I don't have to... I'll fight my way all the way back. Just a little bit all the way back. I don't know why I killed that. It doesn't give me any soul. Just like a few Geo. And there's plenty of dudes in here to give me soul, so that's nice. Come here. Thanks, friend. Get back to my 1700 soul. So is this, is this done? No, okay. That comes back. Let's try and fight this guy again. Ugh, figuring that out on reaction is not trivial. Okay, okay, okay. Dash. Because I needed to jump up and then like dash across him or do that. Can I just trade? Can I just like constantly trade with him? What if I just constantly trade with him? That might be our new strategy. Just to trade. Or just kill him. Why didn't I try that strategy earlier? Hey. Hey, you. So, what was that for? Let's just. Just a boss that I kill for Geo? Is that oh no, there's another way. Okay. Hmm. 
What happened to the camera there? I was like holding up. Oh, and the camera tilted. Wow. The camera tilts. Haha, -ha, secrets. doesn't come back because this the secret area is real sweet uh, I guess how the boss comes back he's just like an easy way to mind geo. I don't know. Incentives are weird. Okay. Secret area time. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Calm down, deep breaths, because we need to do like a jump jump. like one or two more goes and then I'm just gonna call it for the evening so I don't get too frustrated because this game's a lot of fun and like I don't want to get in a a constant loop where I'm getting too frustrated to continue to play well and not just like continue to play well I think like my commentary's basically vanished that's not that's not what I want Tell me if you've heard this one before. Get back my corpse and fight these two shooty things. We did a foursome geo, great. Add this to my ever-growing stockpile of geo I can't use, which I sound like kind of salty there, but it's fine. I assume, like, so, you know, something like there'll be someone getting me more slots or something, and they'll be like, you need 10,000 geo. Mm. And then I'll be most of the way there. Great. Okay, we're gonna come up here first. You've got to be kidding me. All right, one more, one more life, one more life, and then we're signing off. 
that's I think that's in most games that's frustrating where like they have um invincibility frames but like the fact that you got hit once causes you to make a mistake long enough that your invincibility frames wear off right into another mistake I've, I've, it seems to happen more with this game uh i think at, le at least partly because i'm not used to how um he gets like some kind of constant knockback when he gets hit by something uh like one of those projectiles in the air or when he's hits by a stalactite so getting used to that is tricky <sighs> okay well we can find out what happens when I gain a soul across the divide okay I got the, I got them all back um yeah it's like some sort of constant knockback thing Oh boy. Alright. I feel like, yeah, if I didn't have dash, oh, this still might be pretty hard. Ugh. Yeah, this is like way, this is possible I think without dash, but way easier with dash watch out for okay two thousand geo oh look there's a jamie heineman Shortcut there. Okay, I don't have the map for this place yet, but keep an, keep an eye out for... Can I not get up there? Oh, man. So now I have to make my way back. Can I... What? That was not. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna go get my body and then I'm done. That's the plan. And then I guess I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna drink that venom. Thanks very much, creepy hunter guy. I guess I'm gonna come here and they're like few different places I can go in here with dash and I have this city crest that I haven't used either um, which I was thinking maybe it opens the railway on the right side like the tram I don't think I've been back there since I got it so Yeah, so I think the plan for next time is to go back to the sort of like underground or the forgotten whatevers and just like poke around there a little bit to see if there are any uh, Jamie Hyman babies or sweet abilities that I, I can now get to because of this. And I 
Oh man, I'm so, oh boy, wow, okay. Um, oh, actually, maybe I'll just do that now. Haha, -ha, that's precisely what I wanted. Because then the other thing is that I know I have the, like, Bubo area. Fog Canyon. Which I can always go to and is, like, probably, like, a reasonable choice. Like, it's probably not too difficult since it's, like, you can just walk there from here. So, all right, let's make our way. So the fastest way, uh, God, there's no like super fast way. Stagway and Forgotten Crossroads are both equally far. I guess I'll just walk, walk back to Forgotten Crossroads. Not forgetting to stop back at any available bench possible to get my health back, of course. Yeah, because ideally what I'd like to do is like clean up forgotten crossroads to uh so that like I could immediately go to Fog Canyon when I came back. But we'll see. the right way? Yeah. I like that he actually like reads the map. That's cute. Okay, so we need to go up. Not that way. That's the way to the monster. <laughs> uh, or the hunter. Keep going up. There you go. This way. Have we gotten the stinky guys? Ooh, defeat one more, you say? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I like that I was kind of right about those those bugs. That, like they mirrored the the fencing guys, and then ultimately, um, Hornet, Lady Meta Knight, who I will almost certainly see again. Go this way. I don't think so. I think it might be the one above it. Yeah. Okay. Get to this nice chair. Going this way. And 
I can't get up there, right? That's where I've been up there. Okay. Birds. Bug bug birds. Bird bugs. I like the little so when your your goo pile totally fills, uh, it like does like a a little effect. And I like that because it means that I can like see out of the corner of my eye that it's totally full. <sighs> okay. So I remember there's something in the boss room and there's like a chair somewhat near there. So let's make our way that way. Gas that seeps from their gross smells invitingly sweet, but it'll burn through shell and flesh if you get too close. Also, I need to try using my my menu screen a little bit less when uh, when I'm on places that will kill me. Okay, so I should be able to cut over from here. <laughs> and, yeah, okay. Okay, so I can't get there from here, and that requires doing something up, but I think, that's cool. Um, I think that I can dash across the hole that this guy made. Okay, and there's definitely more to go up there. And that's it. There's nothing. Great. Okay. There's a place to the left, a place to the right. Multiple places all the way to the right. So much to see. I'm just gonna go immediately to the to the right here. <laughs> oh, that might be the like tunnel of spikes up there that I would need some like mega dash for. Well, we'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the like Mega Dash spike tunnel. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, so next place to check, I want to check the place that's like a little bit up and to the left of here because that's like one of the few places remaining on that side. Because I have a bunch of places on the right. So I'm gonna like check as many places and then maybe I'll sweep around to the bottom and maybe that big spiky pit area. Unless I've already done that. That might be the place with the indestructible worms. Where there was the first Jamie Heineman I found was there. So I need to go up the shaft and over. Great. Awesome. Loving it. <laughs> Okay, slag tights. Gotta remember that. Especially on, ooh, nice. On like small areas, they're more likely to have slag tights. Okay. 
Gruzzers. They only seem dimly aware of their surroundings, making them easy prey to cut your fangs on. What is it that guides them on their path? It almost seems like they search for ways to die. Nope, they're just bouncing around. That... This seems like I need... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that looks like a wall jump. Yeah, that's... That smells like a wall jump. So... Alright, we're just slowly, slowly getting rid of all the possible ways. So, we have that. Let's just drop down here, go to the right. And then, we have this place to the left. have to have been here, right? Yeah, that looks like a dasher. So this... What did that mean? can't remember what that town meant. Like it meant something. Is this another zone? Okay, so there's another place like this in the mines where it's like, I need like a ground pound ability. Interesting. Let's see what we have here. Fungal wastes. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Alright. So that's another area. It's on my map. No, oh, it'll be on my map when I go to a map place next. So that's the way to a new zone. God, that guy was like impossible to beat with input lag. Um, okay, let's go sit at McElligot's pool here. It's a good place to save. And then I'll... Yeah, now it says going to Fungal Wastes. Now I have, like, that whole thing mapped out, and that's sweet. So... Abilities that I I need still are like something involving like doing something up, like some high jump, because there was that that those god rays near the main shaft, and some sort of ground pound, some sort of wall jump. Ooh, what's up there? Can I not get up there? I need double jump. Is that? Look at that. Oh, it's a piece of the uh, the mask. Okay. So I think my plan is I'm going to go to that far right chair and sit there. And that's where I'll like stop for the night. Hi. Hi. Just. All the damages. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop here just to 
just to like pop a save point in case I do really terribly walking those last few feet. So now I have two new areas. I have Fungal Wastes and Fog Canyon. And it's not clear to me, you know, is Fungal Wastes easier because it's uh, off of the main Forgotten Crossroads? I don't know. It's one of the many things we'll have to find out. Yeah, that's where that like big thing was. I forget the name. Some mama something. Did I ever go in here? What are you? Hey, Sly. Sly. Ooh. All right, new plan. New plan. Uh, first of all, I'll break this. Then, we are going back to the railway. We are going to talk to Sly. Sly might have a way to spend our 2100 Geo. Sly is opening up, you know, his his six store. I want to I want to invest. Fly. Okay, do you have anything new to say, old dude? Shopkeep, 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 shopkeep. So, first of all, let's make sure no one talk to all the new people. Okay, he has nothing new to say. Anything new? Zelda? Bompanada. More nada than Bampa. If there were, if I needed more evidence that I needed to go to sleep, it was that joke right there. Hey, buddy. Mask shard, okay. Piece of a soul vessel. prices on these. So can I get multiple soul vessels? Ooh, a simple key. A simple key. We are buying that. Hello. We might not be buying that. I want to see what this 1800 thing is here. Trying to grant you more time to recover. Oh, okay. So like more invincibility frames. light. 
So do I want to buy the simple key for the simple door? Or am I going to buy this light? Spoilers. I'm going to buy this light. This light's so good. Look at this light. This means I can I can go to the... They're actually not just Our Lady of Perpetual Darkness stone temple, but there's another dark place somewhere um, in the Forgotten Crossroads. It's like one of those far to the right paths. So this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And then, yeah, I'm going to buy a gathering swarm. Spend all the money. You are a, a good bug. You are a good bug. So do I always have that light now or do I have to equip it? So if I get rid of that, if I put on that and that. That's my current thing. Okay, so I assume this just happens automatically. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for the uh, second round today. No idea when I'm gonna be streaming next. I'll post about it like, you know, less than a half an hour before it happens. Uh, and as always, it'll all go up on YouTube. Sorry for the commentary at the start being a little quiet and it being a little, little piecemeal. I need to go to bed. I wish I had like a, like a praise to the sun or something to do here. It's like, it's like fart on this old guy with my, my dash. There we go.